Hi, I just wanted to, uh, sh today wanted to show you some stuff that's uh, going on in the um, two vegetable uh, gardens. I'm quite uh, pleased with one of them, the other one's just ordinary. Um, but for the summer I only really just need the one. Um, yes, I'll uh, show you quickly through, I'll just give you a good uh, look at it. So, it's, um, I'm quite pleased actually so far. Uh, this is just an ordinary raised garden bed, nothing special or anything about it, but we'll have a look at it. Okay, where these poles go is where I'm going to put tomatoes when they finally shoot. Uh, I'll just do a bit of a zoom in and on a few things. We've got a few carrots coming up here and there but they've been planted in past or among where the tomatoes are going over here we've got some of the uh, plants I only planted a couple of weeks ago we've got a uh, zucchini over there next to it a bit of kale coming up not sure whether you'll see it, I can zoom in. No, I can't see the kale, never mind. These are only, uh, sh were only planted as seeds a couple of weeks back. Snow pea. And a little pea next to that. And again, over through there, you can see some stuff coming up. Now I'm really pleased with this one because this bed actually has mushrooms in it which is a sign of a very fertile bed I believe. If I can find the mus some mushrooms there. In the background there there's some carrot. Ah yes I can see the mushrooms. I'll just point them out for just they're just here just there and uh, carrots are in the background around where the tomatoes are going to go yeah quite pleased with that with the other bed it's not quite so good but I'll give you a look here in this bed we've got a few things coming up what I've done I've done a few assortments here and there of uh, bits and pieces, cucumber, kale, a uh, fair few carrots and parsnips in this that are coming through. Over here we've got the remains of what I was using for hydroponic test and um, yeah, see he's looking a little undernourished so what I've done and with the other bed too just uh, to be on the safe side I've given them I give, I'm starting to give them a uh, a feed of um, sea sole I can tell that they're undernourished by the fact that uh, they're yellowing and not as green as they could be or as vibrant so yes we'll try to rectify that with some sea sole it's already they've already had some organic fertilizer and rock dust that's a couple of uh, things I have at the moment going in my raised beds hopefully by the end of summer this will look a lot different I'll give you an update and there we have it there's a couple of um, things happening with my raised veggie beds um, like I said hopefully in the summer or as the summer comes on it'll uh, become a little more um, green but um, yeah reasonably happy with it so far so Anyway, if you uh, enjoyed this video and you liked it, just give it a thumbs up. And for more videos in the future, just hit the subscribe button below. And uh, thank you very much for watching Gardening Tips with Phil. And we will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.